Hi guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the Nokia Theater for the 66th annual Creative Arts Emmys. We're going to be speaking with some of the presenters as well as some of the nominees. Okay. So you guys are nominated for Best Documentary. How is that? It's, it's amazing. Great, great. We're very excited to be here. Yes, absolutely. It's uh, we know we're here. You know, our film was shot in Egypt. We're from Egypt, and we're Egyptian American, and and to be here and to see that you know this is a story about an ongoing struggle for change, and to see the you know the Emmys and the and the Creative Arts Academy come together and and give us this designation is really uh, it's incredible because it shows that our story is, is is important in the eyes of so many people here. And it's been picked up by Netflix, correct? Yes, it's been on Netflix, uh, you know, since uh, earlier in the year. Uh, we're very excited to be a partner with Netflix and to be, you know, one of their first original documentaries. It's a, it's a really an exciting time, and I know Jahan is a director of many films, working with Netflix for the first time. It's been really interesting, right? No, it's it's been incredible. I mean, I've made uh, a few films in the past, Control Room, Startup.com, different theatrical releases, but I never imagined the ama amazing reach that Netflix would have. And so we're talking to taxi drivers, people at airports, people who have seen the film because everybody has Netflix. And that, that's, that was the point of making a film like this about an uprising, about a struggle for freedom, which everybody around the world can relate to. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, to put awareness out there as much as possible is always important. Absolutely. And in a personal way. It's a deeply personal story about a character who's and hearing, you know, the jokes that are said on the street. It's uplifting, it's funny, it's heart wrenching. And so to put people in the shoes of people that are struggling for change so that it's not just this massive you see the massive image on the news but you don't see what it means to put your life on the line to struggle for change over a long period of time it humanizes it seeing a specific story that's right very cool is this the first time you guys have collaborated together or uh, it's the second time we've worked together but this is our first full feature that we've come out together and we're really excited and so excited with how such a life the film has had and continues to have and how many people it's affected around the world so we're really you know, so honored to be here today, especially when we have so many people who came together to make this film. Our whole crew met in Tahrir Square as protesters, and one of our dearest friends, who's a, an editor on the film and a cinematographer, is currently in jail. She's 20 years old, and she was arrested for protesting. So this film, this this award and this nomination means so much to yeah, us. Yeah, it's got a special meaning for you guys. Well, that's so great. Congratulations. Thank you so Good luck much. with everything. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Have a great night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for watching, guys. Tell me you like this video by hitting like and be sure to subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with who you're rooting for for the primetime Emmys.